I'm Simran Sethi, and this is Tree Hugger News, the latest in green news from the number one environmental blog in the world. In the smog induced afterglow of Earth Day, we dedicate this segment to all things energetic. In one for the I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore category, Tree Hugger Berlin correspondent Christine Lapisto tells us a growing number of German consumers who are fed up with the current round of energy price increases have decided not to pay. And so far, the courts are supporting them. Simply put, paragraph 315 of the German Federal Legal Code prohibits one-sided inappropriate rate hikes, and the burden of proof is on the suppliers. And even if the current rate hikes are appropriate, if they were built upon previously inappropriate rates, the consumer wins. In similar but less scary news via Hug.com, former CIA director James Woolsey writes in an op-ed for the Miami Herald that large-scale deployment of flexible fuel vehicles running on alcohol, gasoline, or any mixture of the two will allow Americans to choose secure domestic fuel over problematic foreign oil. Why stop there, we say. Brian from Los Angeles' Lovecraft Biofuels explains. What the oil industry and the automobile industry are pushing for is a blend of 80% regular diesel, 20% biodiesel. And they're still calling it biodiesel, so there's a lot of room for deception in there. Man has discovered a virtually unlimited source of power. That source of power is gasoline, the chief product of the petroleum industry. Ah, the smell of french fries over petrol fumes? I'll take it. Before I head out to check out the wind turbines in Mission Impossible 3, a shout out to the fine state of North Dakota for plans to license state farmers to grow industrial hemp. For more on that story and everything else you just heard, log on to treehugger.com and hug.com. And if you've got great news tips for us, drop us an email at tips at treehugger.com. Thanks for watching.